Could you give us a sense of uh, what were the three or four key pieces of advice that were given to you and by whom? Well, I think it, it is just about having cricketing conversation. In fact, you'll be surprised that I've, I've spent so much time with Sachin and uh, had these conversations uh, which were actually giving me insights about how the batter is thinking. Tell me, and, tell and me the great about example of that was uh, in one of the test matches in Bangalore when we were playing against Australia. Uh, uh, the left-hander batter was batting, I think it was North, and he was uh, leaving the ball uh, very well. Right. And uh, as I was in the spell, Sajin was at mid-off. Uh, he, he came to me and was like, you know, uh, I just have an observation which, which I want to share with you. And then we had, had a chat in the spell like that. And uh, as I was walking back, he would walk with me and then he would, he would have a chat. And he explained to me that how he is picking your line hmm. and uh, it's just going to be hard for you to beat him from there. Yeah. Because he's got a gauge of your release and the angle. Hmm. But he said at the same time, if you go wider of the crease, uh, even though you bowling outswinger to him, he's going to feel that the ball is coming at him and he will be forced to play at it. Uh, so final little thing. Uh, but uh, for me also, it was a great insight. I tried that right straight uh, there in that spell, uh, which worked beautifully. And then he started struggling after that. So, you know, these are the finer things which, uh, which always uh, help you get on top of uh, a thing. And then it became, for me, an understanding about, you know, how the bat... And I started using that as a tactic more often than not uh, of just uh, creating that different angle uh, so that the, the batter is, uh, is, is finding it tough to gauge what you're throwing at us.